of Techno here, and today we are going to talk about some random shit while we build a vehicles. A vehicles? Yes, that is perfect grammar of Techno. That is great grammar. Anyway, that is your great grammar. So, today we are playing, um, Halo. You can tell. Jeez, that might be loud on the recording. I'm gonna turn down the volume here real quick, just in case. Uh, music volume, there's not that much music going on here. Effects volume, down, voice volume, down. Uh, sure. That's still pretty loud, but that's how guns are supposed to be. So, we're gonna fly over here so I can show you my beautiful creations so this is the death adder the death adder uh, 1.0 my dad now you're probably thinking to yourself number one what's with the mitch miss eh, miss mitch mitch what's with the shitty colors <laughs> sorry poor poor literacy um basically i didn't feel like it so, basically, we got 15 turrets on here. I'll do the counting for you. We got 6 in the front, 6 in the back, that's 12. And then you got the 3 up here with the tank, the shade, and the other tank turret there, the machine gun that you can see right here. You know, that one. So, that is 15. Also, if you don't feel like taking a turret, you can just, uh... Um, game, please. Okay, you can take this and, you know, do that. Or you can take this, which is, you know, a little gun. And you can do that. So that's pretty cool. This here is for, like, a seat, because when you're driving, you get pushed around. So, speaking of driving, this thing actually does drive. It's great, I know. All the turrets fire. All the bells and whistles work. Because you can make your own vehicles in this Halo. Isn't that great? I love that. So this is the Death Adder. And then we have over here the Death Adder 2.0. It's uh, significantly bigger. Color-wise, that is. So you got the Scorpion as a base. Because that thing takes a lot of weight, you'll see later. So we got a staircase going up and uh, basically you come up in here and it's got a lot of turrets. I have not counted how many turrets are, are here yet, but similar to Death Adder 1.0, Death Adder 2.0 actually drives poorly and slowly, but it drives. And then we get to the best of all, uh, the Rhino. So the Rhino is a scouting patrolling vehicle. It's not designed for combat. I need to work on it a bit more, you know. Uh, whoa! Halo has a timer in it! Oh, that's perfect. Alright. So, yeah, I'm gonna climb up in here. So this is the sort of like operating room. I'm gonna make like a thing, a bar going across here so people can not get pushed around that much. So they just stand here and look around and see what's coming up and because on the patrol. And as I said, this thing actually drives. Barely, but it drives. <laughs> it's, oh, no, not the death adder. Okay, it's goofy as all hell, but it drives and it works. It's great. And these are exits, so you've got two of them. And no, no, it's not because the wall didn't line up. Shut up. It is because the wall didn't line up. Alright, so, so I just sort of made fears of it. entrances and exits, so yeah, you know what I'll do for some, you know, interaction with my viewer, comment down below what your favorite uh, model of my vehicle here is, the Death Adder 1 or 2, or the Rhino patrol model, I'm gonna make a combat one later, but you know, we're just gonna, I'm gonna cover the basics of making vehicles, and I'm gonna also show you some of my favorites, so we're gonna start with showing you some of my favorites. <gasps> oh, okay, just making sure everything was, uh, 
Oh, voice crack. Everything was good. Here's that. That's what the prefab's called. And it wor- Oh, I didn't- I didn't want to phase it. Give me a second. You need to- uh, I'll explain in the uh, tutorial how to actually do this, because I will actually show you how to do this. We could make that work. <laughs> it's great. So you can make crazy shit like me, and I'll explain how you do that. So, starting now. So what is it that I want to make for my weapons program here? Because we got that. That's what that's dupe is called. And yes, I called it a dupe. Uh, we got Death Adder 2.0 and 1.0 and the Rhino. What, what can I make now? It's really hard. Oh, wow. It's like the Traveler situation going on over there. That's cool. Um, so, um, so. Let's take, I don't know. What I could, at one time I made a Warthog that incorporated all of the Warthog designs in it, like all the cannons in it. It was pretty cool. Uh, let's take a Woodland Scorpion. We'll make it phased. Now that's the first step, alright? You gotta make it phased, remember that. Because then when you let go of it, it'll just float there, and objects can pass through it, except for you. You know, you can't do that. So... Now we got that. Uh, I don't want to make it too similar to the Death Adder or the Rhino, so I don't really know. We're gonna we're gonna think of something. Ooh, what I could do is that would that work? I don't know if that would work. No, that wouldn't work for what I'm thinking. All right. So you're going to see the trial and error process of, ooh, wait, actually that could work, for what I think. No, 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 that's not how you do things, okay. Remember, A is how you descend in this one. It's kind of stupid, I wish I could change it around to B descending. Yeah, we're going to make a more compact, uh, speedy version of a Death Adder. This will be the Death Adder 3.0. Alright. Uh, and then we are... No, we're not going to group those up just yet. Because I need to add the, uh, the main component. Oh wait, the wrong button. Everything switched around in this one, by the way. It's kind of annoying. We'll have chain guns... In the... Stop it, camera. I just want... just want a normal camera. So, now we'll uh, put that on the back. Alright, so. What my thought process for this is, I want, like, the chain guns to be facing the back so they can gun down, like, uh, infantry that we pass by. So, if they're gonna try to attack the back of the tank we can defend the back of the tank without issue. And then I'm going to make uh, Gauss cannons in the front. Um, oh no. So this happened to me before where the, oh god, I broke it. Uh, this happened to me before with the Gauss turrets. They are kind of wonky right now, and I don't know what happened. There was no update or patch or anything that made them broken like this, so I don't really know. Now, that's this side. On this side, I'm thinking I'm going to have a shade turret. Scrap these two. I'm going to have both of them have shade turrets. That'd be cooler. Uh, shade standard. Oh no, it's doing the same thing as like the uh, Gauss cannon. I don't know what the deal with that is. I need to turn it around so I can put it forward because it won't let me go back. I don't know what the deal is with that. No, what? 
Oh, it's not letting me do anything now. I broke it. It's not letting me do shit with these. It's bullshit. Okay. Shaker. We'll make this a back facing shaker. Perfect. That'll work. I'll accept it. And then this is an anti air shade turret. Which yeah, it can't go there. I don't know what the deal with that is. Okay, so we got that, we got that, we got that, we got that. So you want to hold up on the- Oh god! <laughs> what the shit? What's going on? What the hell? Oh. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. So I've been kind of gloomy that I haven't been making funny videos. And there we go. There we go. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to leave it there. Oh, it stopped rotating. How dare you? Oh, God, it's so broken. Okay, we're just going to destroy that. Oh. You can hear it cry. Stop it. Get down here, young man. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, you bitch? Get the hell down here. Stop zigzagging. Stop doing barrel rolls. Come on. Stop it. This isn't, this isn't a flight show. You're a tank. You're a goddamn tank. What look like one? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I don't think the game can take my amazing engineering skills. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this, guys. Oh man. All right, we're just gonna press X and we're gonna make we're gonna we're gonna make the parent one, and we're gonna weld the group. And we're gonna make it un oh god oh it's gotten more violent what the hell? oh I was gonna make it an actual functional vehicle and it killed itself it committed suicide guys oh there it goes you will forever be missed Zippy the Wonder Kid <laughs> all right. I don't know what to do now, because that was, like, what we were going to do. And it ruined itself. Look at this. These are the chunks of it. Oh, it's gone. Well, let's... Let's... Okay, I'll, I'll do something a bit more simple. Okay, these three are saved. That one isn't. So if I delete this one, that's fine. If I delete this one, that's fine. If I delete this one, that's fine. But this one doesn't save for some weird reason. I, I want it to save, but I can't save it. It won't let me. So we're going to have to say goodbye to it because it's kind of corrupting the world. Alright. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a cool vehicle. Now we're gonna we're gonna do a simple car. We'll do a mongoose scout and we're gonna we're gonna phase it. Now bear with me, we're gonna take a prop uh, vehicles. There we go. Uh, we're gonna grab a car. We could do a forklift or a submarine, whichever one you want. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do a car though, because I that's what I decided I wanted to do. What? Why 
Why is it? Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, you have to phase the car, too. So don't forget that. If you want to do this to a car, you got to phase the car as well. Uh, we want to get it a bit more centered. There we go. Down. Um, that won't drive if I do that, so we want to go a bit up. Go a bit down, go a bit up. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so then you want to connect them together. This time it's actually working. And then you want to go in here and then you want to weld. So once you weld, oh wait, actually, we want to set the parrot as one, so it's the mongoose, and then you want to weld. And then after that, you want to unphase it, and then you can tinker with the colors if you want to. So, so we can make it uh, purple. Where's purple at? Uh, purple. Where are thou purple? I think it's this way. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Purple. We got purple, and we're gonna do. Where's the yellow at? Oh, yeah, we'll do gold. There you go. Now it's the Saints Row car. I'm <laughs> just kidding. And then we drop it, and then we can drive it. So, I've never actually done this with a mongoose. We might need to zoom that camera out. So, if you want to zoom a camera out, you just press X, go to Objects, uh the object properties and then you want to go all the way down to vehicle and then you go and then I'm, I'm upping the distance by going backwards so I get go back to this we'll bump it up to a strong three three we'll do three all right so we'll do three and we're we'll gonna enter oh that's I think that's fine the monger is really the best for this stuff. I don't think it is. Oh god. Um. I don't think a monger is best for that. For a vehicle like that. So, uh, we're gonna just delete that. Because it's kind of stupid. But now you gotta get the principle. So that's how I made this. That's not where you're supposed to be. What I meant to say is that's how I made this. The beautiful creation that it is. So, yeah. Um, should I run down why the Death Adder 1 was created? I think I shall. So, as you may or may not have noticed, elephants from Halo 3 are not in this game. And I'm like really bummed out about that. So I decided to make my own type of thing called a Death Adder, which is the tank with this surrounded it. Now, um, basically the deal is, it's got, uh, here, let me actually run down why I selected these turrets to be here. So, you have these Goss turrets, because you know, they're like railgun sort of laser things, and they are really great against vehicles. So they're really anti-vehicle weapons. Then we have these uh, rocket turrets, which are... What the hell? Um, which are anti -air. You know, cool and all. And then you have the Gatling turrets, which are anti-personnel. Which are on both sides. Then you have the shade turret, which is as well anti-personnel, but it can, it can support with a... Uh, both sides of the track, except it hits itself if you that, that's kind of super cool. So that, it, it's more than like for this sort of angle, if there's like another death adder following you around, you can shoot the gun off of it, and if you hit, oh no, it hits the death adder's core, that's not good. So, basically, it, it's, it's more designed to be hitting around here in the back of the death adder, not the front or the other side, but it can do that if you if you really good with it. And you got this, so it can fire, and then you got the person gunning it as well. 
But if the tank comes apart, the whole thing comes apart. I've never actually destroyed a Death Adder before. You know what, should we? I think we shall, because this video is kind of light on destruction, other than, well, the sky incident, we'll call it. Alright, we've got a fully charged railgun up here. We're going to shoot the back of the Death Adder, which is kind of hard to do. Ow, I hit myself. I wanted to do a Death Adder to see what happens. It's on fire now. Severely on fire. I know I'm sorry I'm destroying this beautiful place. Come on, get destroyed already. This thing is a sturdy beast, I know, but... It's severely on fire now. Why isn't it gone? There we go, so everything gets destroyed. Alright, that, that's good to know. So everybody gets destroyed if uh, the Death Adder itself gets destroyed. Only the turrets survive, so like, the crew, if they bail really quickly, they can get access to all the heavy artillery that the thing had before. That's good to know. So yeah. You know, I'm gonna... Being, I'm going to be a buzzkill and assign you all with a homework assignment. If you have Halo 5, give it a try. Build some cool stuff. Um, I'm encouraging uh, other Death Adders aside from my own, of course. Wait, I think I might know what was exp what dropped that debris on the ground, actually. Did it respawn? Anyway, I've been recording for 22 minutes now, so I'm gonna stop wasting your guys' time, but I did give a pretty cool little tutorial there, don't you all agree? Um, so yeah, if you are new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing, but uh, that's only if you like the content, I'm not gonna force anybody to subscribe, you know. Um, if you would like to see more from Halo, I'd like the video because I want to actually know if people like my Halo stuff you know I'll do some more Halo stuff I, I'll probably make two more Halo videos and wait till I get everybody's feedback so we can make more if, uh, if you guys are going to sort of sandbox creative stuff I might do a Gary's mod stream today so keep an eye out for that and uh, as always I am techno so I'll see you guys later. Bye.